Blair Herder. This is it, my friends, but we are going out with a bang. We had many discussions about what this, you know, hour-long episode should yes. be. I mean, maybe it could be a telethon where we raise money to save the show. That would be really smart. <laughs> or maybe we could just come out here and take a dump on the whole industry, the network, and the viewers, but we've been doing that for like a decade. Right. So we're not going to do that this time. We're actually going to do something entirely unexpected. Brace yourselves, you guys. I'm ready for it. We're going to take the high road. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're actually going to do something really, really <laughs> positive. I know. <laughs> Today, we are going to be auctioning off X-Play swag. Great. Good stuff, though. It's actually worth a lot of money. Yeah, and, and rather than use the profits to buy designer drugs and gold-plated guns, we're actually going to donate every single cent to charity. Throughout our final episode, you're going to see a variety of items that will be listed on eBay, and all of the proceeds from the winning bids will be donated to Child's Play. Yeah, it's a great organization. Uh, we've worked with them so much yes. over the years. They're a fantastic organization. They actually donate toys and games to kids in over 70 children's hospitals. We have operators standing by monitoring all of the auctions and listing new items. Okay, why did we let them in the building first? I don't know. Uh, also on the way though, we've got new X-Play comedy, tips on how to make your own reviews, and a few surprise guests. Plus, we asked our talented staff to make whatever they wanted. Each segment producer will deliver their own special package. So we're sorry in advance. Yep. <laughs> but first, we should recognize Morgan's contribution to the show here. You really have been the glue that holds this entire thing together. I prefer to think of myself as a spider web that traps everyone so they can be devoured later. <laughs> or that. <laughs> when she leaves the office, though, things get dicey. It's a good show. I don't know about that. But... All right, guys. The review is on my desk. Do not miss the weekly meeting, and please don't let Benson eat only candy. He needs real people food at least once a day. Aww. Don't worry so much. You're only gone a week. We'll be fine. Oh, no. The show's gonna implode because Morgan's not here. Seriously. I think we can handle it. Yeah, Morgan, we're grown adults, okay? Not baby adults. Last time I was gone, you locked yourself in the mini fridge. It was a hot day. Just go. Have fun. You don't have anything to worry about. Uh...
All right, over the years, you have seen Michael Leffler right yeah. here. Not now. <laughs> the guy's made many appearances on the show, most famously as, as Drunk Link, as you can see right here, or as he is today, Drunk Michael Leffler, dressed as Link. Um, but today he's actually decided to do something very special for you guys. He's going to spoil the ending of every video game ever made. This is a spoiler warning. This is a spoiler warning. This is a spoiler warning. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Holy s***, Samus is a chick? It was all taking place inside Mario's dream, just like Inception. This room is an illusion. Go back to the beginning and beat it again to get the real ending. F*** you, ghosts and goblins. Master Chief defeats the Covenant and saves the day. Master Chief meets a giant squid called the Grave Mine that you think will eventually make sense in the sequel. It doesn't. Everybody thinks Master Chief is dead. Oh, and his real name is John. You pack Cortana and Master Chief on the last ship leaving Reach and everyone else dies. It's a bummer. Eris dies. Way to go, Sephiroth. Andrew Ryan was controlling you the whole time with the trigger phrase, would you kindly, then he mutates into a lame boss battle. Congratulations! You're a winner! John Marston finally gets to go home to his family. Then he dies and you spend the last part of the game playing as his freaking annoying son. Dogs from an alien planet are the ones who created Silent Hill. It was Kratos who killed his family? What? The vault is actually a prison for a galaxy-eating Cthulhu monster. You are Darth Revan. Abraham Lincoln and George Washington show up wearing power armor. Commander Shepard talks to a boy made out of dreams and commits suicide to stop the Reaper invasion. Also, none of your choices in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3 leading up to this point affect the inning in any meaningful way. Oh, and Joker hooks up with Edie, who's a robot, which is gross. Turns out killing Colossi was a really bad thing to do. Your space girlfriend was space dead all along. The cake is a lie. Shell defeats Evil Wheatley and escapes the facility. The cake is still a lie. Robert Guillaume is killed right in front of you. Can't wait to get revenge in episode three, which is never going to come out, ever. You tell us, we're still collecting Nern roots. The dudes were in fact bad enough to rescue the president. The cured Joker is actually Clayface. The real Joker dies, or does he? Just like in real life, the Yankees buy the World Series. The final boss is Magneto. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Maybe it's about the creation of the atomic bomb. Or maybe it's about the pain of a breakup. Or maybe it's just deliberately ambiguous and too self-satisfied with its own cleverness by half. You nobly sacrifice yourself and after 100 hours of gameplay are rewarded with some stills and a voiceover. You blow up the island research facility and the president's daughter totally wants to bang you. Lee gets zombified and Clementine shoots him after a tearful goodbye. Clementine survives and strikes out on her own. Your bionic arm is actually your wife. It doesn't make sense to us either. Link defeats Ganon once and for all. 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 And last but certainly not least, Link defeats Ganon once and for all. So as we mentioned at the top of the show, today we are auctioning off some choice x play Yes, stuff. we are. And we are not well, lining our pockets. We're not. We're really not. No. Wow, good for us. I know. So all of the money is actually going to Child's Place, so cough up the dough. The first item we are putting up for sale is this huge seven-foot statue of Dova King. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, only 400 of these pieces were made, and they were exclusively sent to the gaming press, which we used to be, and retailers. So in the past, these statues have sold for upwards of $2,000. They are incredibly valuable and Extremely rare. Yeah, yeah. And um, the Stormtrooper comes with it? Are we? <laughs> it's debatable. It's debatable. If you want one, all you have to do is go to childsplaycharity.org slash xplay. So this auction is going to run for only a week, so you really should get your bids in sooner rather than later. That's right. And coming up on the show, we have got Patrick Stewart's favorite moments from the show. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Patrick Stewart is here, everybody. And the best of Kristen Adams. Plus, Loot Midgets, Future Games, and much more. Stay with us. Somebody's got some commitment. Eight years. Welcome to the show! Goodbye. Goodbye. What a show! I'm sure we'll think of 
something. Oh, hell yeah! Attack of the Show's final episode, tonight at 7, only on G4. over these many years. Yeah, we say unofficial because we don't have to pay him if we say that. Uh, so I'm sure you already know this, but today's episode is actually episode 1,378. And since this is the last episode of x -Play, that means you won't be seeing any more of our brutally honest reviews. That's true, that's true. So Brian Trinidad, a.k.a. Crump Master B over here, who uh, I'm being told is not Korean, rounded up the staff to show you how to make your very own reviews. After 10 years and thousands of reviews, today is our last show. Ready to get back to work? Many of us will move on to other things, but that doesn't mean we can't pass the torch off to you. So to say thanks to all our faithful viewers, if you've ever wanted to learn how to produce a video review segment like us, here are a couple tips to get you started. When you sit down to write a review, don't read other people's reviews first. You need to write your review in a vacuum. If you go out and you read that everyone else loved this game and thought it was the best game of the year, then you are going to be prejudiced when you actually sit down to write your own review. Just because you know exactly what you're talking about doesn't mean your audience will. If you're dealing with a long-running franchise or a sequel, make sure you bring everybody up to speed by giving a little bit of backstory and not assuming too much knowledge. Tell them where it came from. When, uh, when doing a, a game review or commentary package, uh, always read your script out loud first before you start filming, because chances are it's not written in understandable English. One of the things that I think helps make review kind of snappy fun are sound-ups, sound-ups from the game. So when you're playing the game, you always have to kind of keep your ear out there for those little quips, those little sound bites that you can use in the script and write off of. For example, my favorite, Dynasty Warrior 6, reviewing that thing. And they ask, in the game, have we ever disappointed? Have I ever disappointed? And you can be like, yeah, six times. Six times you've disappointed. Is it really worth our while? OK, to produce a great game review, the Holy Grail is a game that is absolutely terrible. Um, and that's really going to be your comedy gold. I'm going to try and hit the self-destruct button on this review. If you're playing a game and it has hilariously bad voice acting, make sure that you keep repeating it over and over and over again in the review. It never gets old. What if it snowed in San Francisco? What if it snowed in San Francisco? That's my impression. Make sure to pick music that fits your game thematically. It's hard to take a game like Call of Duty Black Ops seriously when you're playing music like this. When it comes to capturing footage, um, a lot of people don't seem to remember that you know someone's going to have to watch this and it's going to have to be interesting. So you shouldn't just sit there and play the game the way the game is theoretically supposed to be played. Throw it down on the easiest difficulty setting if you have to. Run up and get some interesting stuff. Take some risks. You want something that's going to be visually interesting and going to show someone what the game is, is about. Take a cue from the movies because if you're shooting something that doesn't look good on your computer or on your Xbox, it's really not going to look good on TV or the internet. If you're reviewing a Japanese role-playing game, go ahead and make a snap judgment within the first hour on it. What the? They never get any better. The devil must be beating his wife. And I'm saving you 50 hours of your life. You're welcome. If you are in an argument with anybody, Batman wins. Batman is the right answer, no matter what the argument is. Most important part is do it with love. If you don't love it, fake love. Always montage in and montage out. And most importantly, end on an explosion. but there has been a conspicuous lack of Sir Patrick Stewart, and that must be remedied. By the way, has anyone noticed that he sounds and looks a lot like Canadian guy? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, here are the Starfleet captain's favorite moments from the show. When I'm not keeping freaks at bay, I like to party and dance the night away. These are Patrick Stewart's favorite moments from x -Play. Make it so. Oh, hello. I'm Patrick Stewart. You may know me from some X-Play reviews like Star Trek Legacy or Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. For the engage. I'm here to talk about something important, imperative, and inconsequential. It's Patrick Stewart's favorite moments of X-Play. Where's my bitch, Jonathan Frakes? Get him now. Roll him. 
Ah, uh, yes, my first role for X-Play. I played a hockey-loving Canadian farmer from Cote St. Luke, Montreal. Classic. Oui, oui, oui. I'm so happy. Who did I model my character after? Simple. Former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau and John Candy's corpse. <laughs> tingle, tingle, kulu, limpa. Lincoln Tingle. This is what gets the most recognition when I hang out at GameStop until security shoes me away. The person who played Link, whose name I don't care to remember, and I, Sir Patrick Stewart, portrayed these roles seven times. Why no eighth? That's our business, but it always comes down to money. Fun fact, the green lycra I wore made me impotent. No babies for this, Captain Ladies. <laughs> I'll take you all on. Do you want a piece of Freddy? I don't know the context here or anywhere, but it's my good friend, the great Adam Sessler. And here he is dressed as Freddie Mercury. I'm champion of the world! I once met Freddie Mercury in the 80s. I don't want to get into it, but let's just say, crazy little thing called my penis. I've got an app that is totally different than anything else you've ever seen. What the hell is this? You are Patrick Stewart and you wrote William Shander clips? Blasphemy. That's like bringing in Anne Frank and rolling footage of Hitler to her face. Shatner may be the captain people deserve, but I'm the captain that people need. All right, the show's over. Screw Shatner, and that goes double for Scotty. I'm out of here. Game over. When I'm not keeping freaks at bay, I like to party and dance the night away. These are Patrick Stewart's favorite moments from X-Play. Kiss my bowl. Going away doesn't mean any game companies are going to be spared the famous exacting eye. That's because we have trained that eye on the future and come up with these reviews of future releases. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. 2013, Grand Theft Auto V. Rockstar signature franchise gets bigger and better. Let's see if Rockstar can pump out the DLC as fast as Lindsay Lohan can pile up the charges to inspire. Four and a half out of five. Good job, Rockstar. Bad job, Lindsay Lohan. 2017, Ubisoft's billion-dollar Assassin's Creed franchise finally takes a stumble. Desmond Miles' cousin enters the Animus to take the role of Edward Strong, video game tester on Ubisoft's 2009 flop Grey's Anatomy video game. It's mostly just the Grey's Anatomy game, except you free run in the parking structure. Yeah. Still not a bad game, so we gave it a 3 out of 5. Yeah. 2018, Nintendo makes news at E3 2018 when they announce a re-release of all old Mario Brothers games with the word duper wedged into the titles. Oh, Nintendo, crafty like a rock. Yes, and for that, they are awarded E3's esteemed participant award. Mm -hmm. 2019, in a year that saw lots of excitement from the fall of governments to the rise of the machines, mm -hmm. our game of the year is Dance Dance for Your Masters. Yes. This full training regimen means your meat will be well-toned and marbled for the reaping. And perhaps your dancing may even tame the wild heart of the half-human, half-cyborg overlord. Four and a half out of five. Bravo. Bravo. 2027, the Fallout MMO has finally arrived! And by Fallout MMO, we mean you live in a nuked-out wasteland. Yes. <laughs> yes. 2040, a year full of great releases like Rediscovering Language, Stick, and the ever-popular Pointy Stick. I did love Pointy yeah. Stick. Our choice for our game of the year has to be Fire. Fire is warm, it's lighty, and fun. And with rumors of new Fire Mobile coming down the pike, it is all looking up from here. That's right. So five out of five for Fire. Mm -hmm. 2041. Run! Fire has grown beyond its platform! 2042. Tony Hawk Ride 2. Five out of five. After the break, the return of a long absent friend of the show that's not that great at games. Of course, I'm talking about Gamertag. Plus, Chris and Adams is going to blow the roof off this place with a live musical performance. Just the tips with Gamertag. X-Play's Book of Secrets revealed finally. Hey guys, what's up? It's Gamertag. And if you know who I am, that's awesome. If not, I am a very intelligent, really cool guy who's awesome at video games. Inside this book, 
is every unknown secret about X-Play and some known ones. Blair Herter was originally added to the cast on a dare. Hey, you know what? He beat the odds. Way to go, buddy. The X-Play Challenge NES is made of unobtainium. X-Play always keeps one firearms reviewer on hand. But here's the weird part. Next to it in parentheses, it says just in case. Just in case what? X-Play the Musical won six Tony Awards. Oh, yeah, this one's got an asterisk. Tony was the show's janitor. You know what? It's still an honor. Wow, Morgan Webb was in the band DOS Effects for two hours. Half-Life 3 actually came out in 2009. The first Sessler soapbox was actually an untelevised rant about how TLC's crazy, sexy, cool matches up perfectly with Starship Troopers. How about that? I mean, I knew it matches up. I just didn't know he ranted about it. To the best of his knowledge, Thomas Jane has never been on X-Play. To the best of his knowledge, Thomas Jane hosts the MMO report. Every episode of X-Play contains a subliminal message from the Satanic Bible. That's so weird, because I've watched I've never noticed that. Canadian guy is not French Canadian. He's just regular Canadian. Oh, what a jip. It just says hamburger. So, hamburger. One page full of the word hamburger. Super Mario Brothers is loosely based on the life of Nazi hunter Simon Wiesenthal. I knew it. All your bases are actually belong to a guy named Tom. The X-Play producer selection process is a ritual that dates back to the Freemasons. Everybody knows that. Babalities are real. What? That's crazy. Babality. Game attack wins. Secrets and mysteries of X-Play? You just got tagged. And diaper, you got tagged as well. Someone come and change me, please. A gamer tag film. We, we actually want to take a moment to talk about Kristen Adams. Yes. Kristen Adams has been our dependable utility host on staff forever. She does all the crazy shoots in the field that, frankly, we're too scared to do. She'll stay in as co-host when one of us is out sick or when Blair's rickets acts up. <laughs> it's a genetic disorder, you guys. I don't have control over it. Uh, I actually once watched her lift a car to save a trapped child, but that's only really a blip on Kristen's <laughs> Actually, two children. I just wanted to <laughs> clarify. Same well, corrected. She's had an amazing life. Yes. Did you know that Kristen was the mascot for the TCU Horned Frogs, mm -hmm. a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, yeah. and a regular on American Idol? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amongst many other things, so we yes. thought with a resume like that, we thought it'd be nice to actually have her on the show to do a live musical performance during this last show. Yeah. Yeah. Kristen Adams. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, uh, um, guys, I'm sorry. I was just been told we can't afford that song, oh. or you could. No, um, no, you can't. We can't afford any song, oh. so you can't sing it. But we knew you would have been great. You, so yeah, you would have been great. You know, but we can. Actually, what we can afford? Why don't you just like sing some Halo Four Pro Tips? That would be. <laughs> <laughs> that would be super awesome. Right? Shut up, Blair. <laughs> just shut up. Oh, it feels so good to say that. You know what? I'm actually glad that this show is over. I mean, that way I don't have to hear another word about Blair's terrible New Orleans Saints. I mean, they're not so good after getting busted for the bounty system, huh? They're not. Big shock. And Morgan. Oh. <laughs> you hate Nintendo. I mean, we know it. Get over it. Everyone loves Mario. You're the one with the problem. You know what? I'm Miss spending the majority of my year on the road covering the latest press event for some game that's gonna get a two out of five, and then having to get the side eye from developers when I come to their next event. When I walk off this stage, I'm unfollowing all of you people on Twitter, defriending or unfriending or whatever this means on Facebook, and I'm deleting you from my contacts. You are all dead to me. From. We have vases? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Well, let's watch some of Kristen's happier moments. 
Do you really have braces? I got this. Let's go. Do you guys watch T4? Don't worry, I know how to use this thing. Everyone's ducking. What up, my shorties and my willies? Put your caps back for the 411 on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Right here on Cheat. Word. I got the need for speed. Should we start screaming? That was the scariest thing of my whole life. Excelsior! What's the P equation? Plenty. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way because, let's be honest, I'm not trying to ruin this moneymaker. <laughs> Thank you. You converted me already. What just happened? You're good. It's out of my mind. Let's do this. Kristen. Kristen, I'm going to be OK. Just call an ambulance. I, th I think I'll make it. Yeah, but the thing is, you might testify against me. What? No, Kristen, no, you're America's. It was so much fun. The rock, paper, scissors, dice. Isn't that dope? I'm all about the music, baby. Oh, hey there. Let's do this. Fancy, smancy title he has on X-Play. Anybody have any earplugs? This is so, seriously, having so much fun. I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> All right, it is time for our second charity auction of the day. This is not as big as the Skyrim statue, but it is a one-of-a-kind item. We are auctioning off a script for this show, X-Play's final episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I know what you at home may be saying. Why should I pay for a paper copy of Blair's teases? <laughs> well, the script is actually signed by the entire staff. Even us. Mm -hmm. We put in a fancy binder and everything. Yep. And remember, all of the proceeds from the winning bid will be donated to a child's play. Yeah, so if you want to bid on our blood, sweat, and tears, just head on over to childsplaycharity.org. The auction ends in a week, so get your bids in now. Yeah, and again, don't call those guys, because Cash is just playing an antenna flute. <laughs> That's not even a phone. Still on the way, we've got another big charity auction. You can play video games on this prize. Plus more nostalgia and loot midgets. You heard that right. We'll be right back. Loot midgets. Are your employees suffering from anxiety? Rumored layoffs got everyone depressed? Office morale going down? Then it's time for... What the... Loot Midgets! <laughs> Loot Midgets will give your team purpose. <laughs> Improve company morale. In the arrow! And help HR find out who has weapons stashed around the office before the downsizing starts. But that's not all. These little guys come packed with prizes that pop out once a lucky worker takes them down. It was full of beer! Fill them up with whatever you think your office needs to pick up their spirits and let your employees shoot away. I got one, he's down. And I got... I got the horse tranquilizers! I got them! Borderland 2's Loot Midgets. Big time fun in a violent, psychotic little package. New jobs for everyone! Yes! For SNBC! Son of a bitch! You! I hate this place! Yes. Order now. Operators are standing by. X-Play assumes no responsibility for injuries resulting from the Loot Midget beating you down, gyrating on your face, or shooting in the forehead. Always read the directions thoroughly before opening Loot Midget. Also available for children's birthday parties. Oh, look, everyone. It's segment producer Mike Benson and his dog, Fuzzy. Hey, hey guys. I just wanted to see what it felt like to be up here on stage and to see if you had any candy. Do you have any candy? No, sorry. Aww. Well, as long as we're here, I thought maybe we could take a look at this video of my favorite moments. Sure, but still no candy. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh man, this is so weird doing voiceover for my own segment. Does my voice really sound like that? Ugh. First off, that music that we're playing, it's way too cool sounding. That's better. When I first started working on X-Play, I mostly helped around the office and got talked into doing skits where I wore embarrassing costumes. What's with the panda suit? It's Halloween. I, you know, I thought we were all gonna dress. Oh. Also, I played a cop once. Sometimes in the line of duty, police officers encounter unexpected situations. Oh, but probably the best thing I did was acted in a sketch where we pretended to sell lightsabers on a home shopping network. Right here, folks, we're gonna have something. Oh! Oh! Oh, Tom, they got me good. Oh, that burns like hellfire! Oh! Oh, God! Where, where's my hand, Tom? Uh, folks, uh, if you, if you order now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we have a clip we could go to? Oh my god! But most of what I did was behind the scenes playing bad video games and then giving them bad reviews. And believe me, I'm looking in your direction, Iron Man 2. I'm the most sophisticated AI flux net ever conceived. Ugh, I had to play all 45 minutes of that game. Tony, how bad is this? Also, I got to write a couple of special episodes, including one that was basically a parody of Saw. There are those that say that it was that it was the perfect crime. Uh, I'm sorry, who thinks that raping a dolphin is the perfect crime? Nobody ever found out who did it. Or that it ever happened at all. True story, I remember watching this episode with my mother, and she laughed out loud at that joke. So awkward. Oh, and the favorite sketch I did might be these fake commercials for off-brand video games. We have the greatest selections of games in the entire Southland! But I can't really talk about working on X-Play without mentioning the awesome people. I got to come in every day and see my best friends. And seriously, if I start thinking about that too much, I'll get choked up. And no one wants to see that. So I'll just end with my finest moment on X-Play, which is when I got to show off my dog Fuzzy. I'm gonna miss this. Nothing, did we? Don't answer that. Yeah, don't answer that. <laughs> uh, we're actually, uh, the next item we're putting up for sale today is something collectible yet functional, and all of the money goes to Child's Play, so everybody wins. Yeah. We're auctioning a Halo 4 limited yes. edition Xbox 360 console Woo! bundle. It has got a one of a kind design, two custom controllers, a 320 gig hard drive, and a copy of Halo 4. Yes, and the console has also been autographed by the entire X Play staff. We didn't Woo! make the game, True. but we'll still sign their Xbox. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> to bid on this item, all you have to do is go to childsplaycharity.org slash xplay. Yeah, the auction's going to be up for an entire week, so get your bids in while you still have a chance. <laughs> okay, this is our last tease, so I think Blair should have the honor. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you yeah. very much. <clears throat> Coming up after the break, mm -hmm. a look back at some of xplay's greatest moments. We'll be right back. <laughs> After eight years. I'm sure we'll think of something. Attack of the Show's final episode, next, only on G4.
Okay, just a reminder, today we decided to auction off three pieces of X-Play swag. And you should bid, because all of the proceeds are going to a very worthy cause. Yeah, Child's Play is a fantastic organization that donates games and toys to kids in over 70 children's hospitals. Yeah. We are auctioning off an incredibly rare Skyrim statue, uh -huh. a copy of X-Play's final script signed by the entire staff, and a limited edition console bundle for Halo 4. Yes, that is awesome. This item actually also bears the signatures of the entire X-Play team. Yeah. So to bid on all of those items, all you need to do is go to childsplaycharity.org slash xplay and if you just want to donate some money and find out more about the charity just remove the slash xplay from that. I think they can handle that. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, this is it. Only one more thing to go. Yeah, after nearly 10 years, 1,378 episodes, two cities, six sets, 4,200 Morgan hairstyles, <laughs> it's time to close the book on the best damn video game show in the freaking history of yeah. television. Please witness in awe at the strength and power of X-Play. Ah. Hey, Rodney. I totally scored a thousand on Xerox. Sounds like somebody wants to take the Blair bus to Happy Town. Mm, 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 mm. Try this, might help with the pain. But I don't drink. You do now. You're on X Play. Fantasyland. Ew, crazy! <laughs> Funny thing is when I just do my work and simply trust, always seems that life is looking out for me. Whatever grows will grow. Whatever dies will die, whatever works will work, whatever flies will fly, whatever fails will fail, what's meant to soar will soar, I am planting seeds, nothing more. It's gonna feel like you took a tray full of cookies and baked them up in your ass! Well, that'll look nice at a bus stop. I will pull your entrails through your eyes and use them as reins to ride your damned soul to Hades below! Dude. We are the cream of the national gaming press. Whatever that's worth. That's it. That's it. We're crying. I'm a model. Yes! Give me that young male psyche! You're plugged into everything that's cool! Go! Hang this on your door and no girl will ever enter, I promise you. Excelsior! Pokemon. We know a lot about Pokemon. Why? Shoot! No! Ah! Shoot! No! Ah! Shoot! Hang the f***ing down! Eddie, want me to frag her for you? You frag me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. Whee! Yeah! It's like being in a car wash! And I got something else! Yeah! <laughs> if humans love and love causes pain, all humans must be destroyed. <laughs> His logic's undeniable. <gasps> Cold chain dance, come on! I said get the hell out of here. Run, run, this way. I know we're gonna here anyway. Roll the video back, I'm singing this bitch. Give me the microphone. Yeah.
right, everybody, we are just about done here, so it's time for a few last words. A big thanks to all of our viewers and fans, especially the loyal bunch that stuck out that year when we got all serious and we're on every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and to all of the developers for making the games that made this show possible, even Koei. Yeah. Because as we all know, taking a dump on Dynasty Warriors filled up a lot of time. Yeah. And that was nice. And lastly, we'd like you to pay special attention to the credits at the end of today's show. Yeah, uh, and I just wanted to say something uh, personally. No matter what we all do in our careers, uh, this moment right here, I will uh, forever be grateful for because you are the best the industry has to offer. So thank you guys very much. Aww.